When you hear the name B-52, most people either think of one of two things, either the 1980s pop group or the renowned U.S. Air Force bomber that just won't go away. Although many others call it the big ugly fat guy or Buffy owing to its looks. The B-52 fleet still performs an incredibly important function within the U.S. Air Force, which may surprise most people even in the third decade of the 21st century. What makes it so amazing? Buckle up to know how the B-52 Strato Fortress is the backbone of the United States Air Force. The B-52s have served as the core of the U.S. Strategic Bomber Force for more than 60 years. The B-52 has the largest weapons that can be dropped or launched in the American arsenal. This includes joint direct attack munitions, precision guided missiles, cluster bombs, gravity bombs and others. The U.S. Air Force isn't planning to retire this aircraft anytime soon, given its nearly 70 year flying history. The bomber, commonly called the Strato Fortress, was first created by the Boeing Company in 1948 and made its first flight in 1952. Eight Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines, each generating about 17 horsepower, are used to power the aircraft, which has a wingspan of 185 feet and a length of 160 feet. It was initially intended to be a strategic bomber with the ability to drop 35 tons of nuclear warheads deep within Soviet territory. Nonetheless, it would later prove to be quite beneficial for dropping conventional weapons and other weapons of war that the U.S. was engaged in. The conflicts in Yugoslavia, the Persian Gulf War in the early 1990s, the Vietnam War and, very recently, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan are all examples of this. It even took part in the historically longest bombing mission. During the Persian Gulf War, a B-52 took off from Barksdale, Louisiana, its home base, and flew 35 hours to Baghdad and back. Of course, there were multiple aerial refuelings along the way, but it was still an incredible feat. However, how has this aircraft stayed relevant and helpful for so long, and why is it still being used so frequently today? After all, according to the Pentagon's current plan, the B-52 will continue to operate and be on duty until at least 2050, and some experts believe it could even last until 2060, making it the first plane to run continuously for more than 100 years. The relevance of the B-52s is the first thing to take into account. It's very important to keep in mind that the B-52 was developed immediately following a successful strategic bombing operation against Japan in World War II. Air Force planners wanted a long-strange strike aircraft at the time that didn't need forward operating bases. You know, the B-29, the antecedent of the B-52, was greatly relied upon by the United States during World War II. This was a superb aircraft, but because of its shorter range, it couldn't go as far as it might have, necessitating the use of forward bases in the Western Pacific, including those in Guam and the Mariana Islands, to reach Japan. The Air Force was aware that the wide expanses of the Pacific would not be a problem if a new bomber with a longer range could be developed, eliminating the need for these nearby sites. Because of this, the B-52's design changed from its preliminary sketches to a swept-wing aircraft that could easily travel tens of thousands of miles without ever needing to refuel. The aircraft's range is presently listed as being 8,800 miles after various enhancements over the past few decades. To put this in context, it implies that a B-52 could take off from one of its home bases in Barksdale, Louisiana and fly all the way to Sydney, Australia, using just one tank of gasoline and a payload of 70,000 pounds of bombs. In a scenario of the genuine Cold War, the B-52 would fly with all of its nuclear missiles armed as a kind of nuclear deterrence against the Soviet Union. It was routinely taking long flights over the North while being prepared to attack when needed. More recently, the bomber has demonstrated its conventional capabilities by providing close air support to troops in Afghanistan and Iraq while employing a range of precision-guided weapons. Furthermore, the aircraft has demonstrated its surveillance capability by being able to be equipped with cutting-edge electronic sensors that have been utilized to monitor wide areas of the open ocean and cover thousands of square miles with its great range. The key takeaway from this is that the airplane is incredibly versatile which is only one of the reasons it may be repeatedly used for different purposes regardless of the circumstance. Because it is so much simpler than other U.S. Air Force bombers, the aircraft makes this possible. 
Some American bombers, such as the B-2 Spirit, which was entirely specialized for stealth, and the B-1 Lancer, a supersonic bomber, are primarily built to fly at high speeds, making them less versatile overall and built to escape radar detection. Continuing from the previous point, the B-52 is the one aircraft that no one will ever accuse of being stealthy. In spite of the fact that its design predated the development of sophisticated stealth technology, the bomber, over the years, still possessed very sophisticated electronic defenses and a variety of additional tools that were intended to keep it safe from other severe dangers. Prior to the early 1990s, the aircraft actually featured a turret where a tail gunner could sit, and it even had two confirmed kills when it shot down two MiG-21s during the Vietnam War. Now, if we turn our attention to the future, the Air Force intends to maintain the value of the B-52s by giving the bombers what is known as a long-range standoff weapon, or an LRSO. Although the range of these air-launched cruise missiles can be quite long, up to 1,500 miles, old, slow B-52s by today's standards can still engage the enemy while being kept at a safe distance. Of course, you could assume that an ancient airplane, particularly one that is almost 70 years old, would have numerous maintenance concerns. The B-52's astoundingly high mission capability rate, or more simply, the rate at which a jet is readied for battle, is another advantage. The Air Force typically aims for between 70 and 80 percent for the majority of its aircraft, and the B-52 exceeds this goal with an average rate of 80.5 percent, which is far higher than its two bomber counterparts. The B-1 averages 53.7, and the B-2, which averages an appalling 30.3 percent. In spite of the fact that they offer a wealth of amenities and technology, newer and more complex planes are inherently more difficult to maintain. Although we shouldn't ignore the B-52's price either, it's safe to say that you get a lot for your money. The 740 B-52's that were first built would have each cost almost $84 million in today's currency, despite the fact that the aircraft is no longer manufactured. You can clearly see how cost-effective the older bomber is when compared to other current bombers, like the B-1, which cost an average of $423 million for each aircraft and was manufactured in 100 units, or the B-2, which cost an astounding $1.1 billion per unit and was created in 21 units. In actuality, you could have created 5 B-52s for every B-1 Lancer you could construct and 13 B-52s for every B-2 Spirit. Not to mention that flying is also inexpensive, at least in comparison to other modes of transportation. Its maintenance and other operating costs are, on average, $72,000 per flight hour, which is slightly higher than the B-1's average of $63,000 per hour, but significantly lower than the B-2's staggering $135,000. Additionally, the B-52 is expected to become even more affordable as new upgrades are anticipated in the very near future. The approximately 60-year-old engines need to be replaced with more contemporary ones that are more fuel efficient and will have a wider range. This is one significant upgrade the Air Force is now working on. With a new set of cutting-edge engines, the Air Force estimates it can increase fuel efficiency by 30%, resulting in 40% more range. While pier bombers like the B-1 and B-2 are set to be retired in 2036 and 2032 respectively, they are just one of a number of upgrades that the Air Force is considering in order to extend the useful life of the aircraft. This will make room for the B-21 Raider, a newer and more advanced heavy bomber, which is anticipated to enter service at some point. In any case, the B-52 is an amazing airplane that has genuinely withstood the test of time. The B-52 is certainly a famous jet, with ideas and early designs dating back to the immediate aftermath of World War II and continuing to the present. What do you think about the B-52? Comment below with your thoughts on this and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please enable the notification bell while you're there to ensure you receive all our upcoming uploads.